if you have a small business, if you own a small business, then inevitably you will at some time come into contact with local authorities. Um, when that happens, um, it can be for a lot of reasons, but one of the key things I think in China is, is that it's a very fast evolving economic outlook. And as a result, regulations and practices are changing all the time. As a result, it's hard to always be up to speed on what things have changed and perhaps more importantly in such a fast moving environment, how they're changing in practice as opposed to in, in theory. It is almost inevitable at some stage you will come into a, a problem with the authorities either in the way that you've been doing things or, or through changes that you perhaps weren't fully familiar with. In fact, the point I'd like to make is one of the advantages I think about China is, is that when these situations arrive they can actually become opportunities to improve relationships with these authorities. Um, that are not always easy to build relationships with. As a company, you, you, you tend to have difficulties in building relationship with these authorities. It's a small business, it's time consuming. It requires having people who are sufficiently senior to be able to build these authorities. And it also requires the authorities to want to have time to build them with you. And that often may not occur until such stage as you have a problem that re requires the authorities to, to come into a, a good example for us is about, I suppose, seven years ago this would be, we had an employee who we terminated for, for various problem reasons and she reported us to the tax authorities saying we were involved in all forms of illegal financial activity. So naturally what happened is the tax authorities got in touch with us and said, look, we're going to need to investigate these. The opportunity it presented for us was that because we had to go through all our books with them to show them what we've been up to, we also had an opportunity to find out very much what, from their point of view, they expected from us in terms of tax compliance, which would have been difficult prior to that, to be quite honest, because if you just look at the regulations, they may, may be different than their practical implication, their implementation of those regulations. As a result of this, we spent, I suppose, about a couple of months dealing with them until they gave us a clean bill of health. And out of that, what emerged is we developed a relationship with them there. So we could contact them when new regulations came in, new tax codes were introduced. We had a channel that we could get through to someone fairly senior who knew us and, and would try their utmost to provide us with the information we needed. And in fact, the relationship continued. Every so often they would, would pop in really and, and have a chat with us and a cup of tea and see how things were going. And in fact, the relationship developed really rather well in the sense they started to treat us a little bit like we were a customer, which I suppose in a way we were. We were providing with, with, with money. So I think that that's an example. For us to have built that relationship directly it would have been quite hard because the tax authorities get a lot of people trying to build relationships with them and they're busy people and they don't particularly want to, to end up having endless lunches with small companies to try and build relationships. So when these situations arise, it's often an opportunity to build a relationship that would have been difficult beforehand. And as long as you both are going into it with the view that, look, there's a problem, we want to solve this in accordance with what is required, there generally is a very positive construction atmosphere on, on how these things are resolved, in my experience.